hi guys this is joanne from gal and welcome to my channel once again today i'm going to be talking about reducing knots on natural hair this is an issue that everyone with natural hair goes through especially if you have type 4 hair so if that's you this video is for you before i start let me give you a brief history of my hair and my experience with knots so i did a long-term transition for 17 months before chopping off my okay my remaining relaxed ends and once i was fully natural i discovered something new something i had never seen before with my natural hair and that was knots i had so many knots i had like a thousand knots everywhere i touched on my hair was knots it was knots it was just knots everywhere and it was frustrating so what i did i did a blog post and explained my situation and i am so grateful because there were amazing ladies who gave me tips and told me what to do with knots because they had been there before which is why i'm so grateful for the internet i'm just so grateful for youtube for blogs for the internet because you can always get answers to your problems or solutions or half solutions whatever but you will get information so i did and that is what i'm going to be sharing with you today once you realize that you have lots of knots the worst thing you can do to your hair is to start pulling these knots out with your fingers because i used to do that like i used to just go over my hair and i love touching my hair after my transition it was like a hobby i couldn't keep my fingers off my hair so i just kept pulling them out with my fingers just pulling them out all over and as a result i had so many split ends and it was not a nice scene to look at the best way of doing it is this or just leave them alone until you can actually cut them off but do not pull them out with your fingers because they will just cause split ends. Wash and goes are a great hairstyle. They look really cute, they look really good. But if your hair is really, really curly and you have really tight curls, then I really suggest you reduce the number of times you do wash and goes, or if you can, avoid them completely. And if you do decide to do wash and goes, then it is better to do it um, it is better to do it when you have the time to wash your hair more often or rather to co-wash your hair more often because if you keep co-washing your hair then you have the chance to detangle your hair almost every two days so you don't get as much tangles as if you let it in let it stay for a whole week I hope that makes sense but otherwise, wash and goes really cause a lot of tangles. Because of the structure of our hair, it tends to curl up. And the more it curls, it curls into itself, into, into itself and it loops around itself and just causes a mess of knots. <laughs> so avoid wash and goes. For me, the best way to keep away tangles is by stretching my hair like now you can see that my hair is not the way it usually is this is because it has been stretched and how I stretch it is I twist it like after washing and conditioning my hair I will go on ahead to stretch it I twist it like I do four twists on one side and four twists on the other side and then I will go back Take each twist again, moisturize it, and seal it, and then retwist. And then I go all over. I do that for all the other twists, and then I will do it again until, like, I keep going until I get my desired stretch. <laughs> so this is really good because it works, and you can actually get rid of. 99% of tangles like I rarely have any tangles when I have my hair stretched in this way and it also gives me the opportunity to wear stretch styles like with my normal hair with the way I know my shrinkage I would never achieve such a bun 
but when my hair is stretched it's absolutely no problem other ways to stretch your hair are braid outs uh, palm rods threading you can also use heat to stretch your hair but I don't really recommend that that much but really heat is not as bad if it is used moderately like anything can be bad if it's used um, if it's abused but if you're using it moderately medium to low heat is just okay the next important thing is to moisturize seal and detangle your hair like detangled hair will not will not form knots and tangles because it is moisturized it doesn't have to tangle so the more you keep your hair detangled and the more moisturized it is dry hair will tend to tangle up tangle up and it will become matted but if you have your hair in good condition so it's those three things moisturize seal your hair with an oil and then detangle and I also recommend detangling with your fingers and not with a comb because high manipulation of your hair will also cause damage and it might cause knots and tangles as well and if you do decide to comb your hair then always start from the ends of your hair going upwards If you do discover that you have so many knots, then the best way to go about it is to just trim off those ends or trim off any hair that has knots in it. You can opt for the search and destroy method, which is tiresome, or just give yourself a good trim because the more knots you have, the more knots it will continue to form your hair will be difficult to comb you will not be able to do anything with it really straightening will be uh, a pain because it will never look as straight as you want it and combing will be really painful especially for kids so the best way really is just to cut off those knots and then start afresh lastly don't forget to cover your head up at night so that you don't have so much friction between your bed sheets and your hair because this will not only cause dryness it will cause tangles and it might cause breakage also so it's important that we always remember to cover our heads and if that's not possible get yourself a satin pillowcase this is really really important so that's actually the end of the video. I hope this was helpful to you. These are the tips that have really gotten me where I am now and they're still helping me. And I hope they will be beneficial to you also. So if you have any questions, please post them below. Or yeah, or if you would like me to do a tutorial video on how I actually stretch my hair, I would also be glad to do it because that was like an eye opener for me because it's really easy to do and um, yeah I wish you all a blessed time and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and to leave a comment bye bye <music>